The Queen of Granada by M. Riff Chapter 198, The Coin Clara had expected Rosen, like a typical medicine woman, to read her palm. But instead, she was more aware of the wrinkles on the back of Clara's hand. In contrast to Rosen's youthful skin, Clara felt weathered and aged. Noting Clara's fascination, Rosen explained, the skin and the barriers that line the internal cavities of the body are like two sides of the same coin. The skin covers the body on the outside, while the internal barriers protect the body on the inside. An allergic reaction is a kind of physical stress. They pile on top of each other, outpace healing and make the body's internal clock tick faster. In the long term, they cause premature aging and health problems. As a nurse, Clara understood well Rosen's assessment of her condition. She had spent her life consulting various allergy experts and undergoing various tests and treatments, without much effect. With a hopeful smile, she asked, Rita mentioned your exceptional skills as a medicine woman. Perhaps you have developed a remedy that could cure me. Rosen replied, Come inside with me. I need to make a detailed examination of your condition. Clara and Rita's arrival was obviously not entirely unexpected. Rosen had already prepared a table with a variety of delicacies in small bowls. Clara followed Rosen inside, but Rita chose to stay seated. She poured herself a cup of tea and sat back. Suddenly a small black kitten appeared among the bushes, approached Rita, rubbed against her and purred. Rita lifted it onto her lap and scratched it under the chin. She was convinced that the kitten was one of Espanto's descendants. Clara was captivated by the massive windows adorned with vibrant stained glass. As Rosen and Clara walked through the door integrated into the center of one of the windows, Clara felt like she was on a tour of an old pharmacy that also served as a doctor's clinic. The sight of glass containers on the shelves filled with dried flowers left her in awe. They passed tables with pellet rollers and stone mortars around a large hand mill in the middle. Clara's eyes were drawn to a large still that bubbled and hissed. Rosen led Clara to her work area, separated from the rest of the hall by stained glass partitions, and asked her to lie down on a divan. Next, she pulled a stool and a small table, with all the necessary remedies, close to the divan and got down to business. On a tray she had a row of small glasses with a toothpick in each. She placed a peculiar ruler on Clara's forearm and scratched her skin at regular intervals with the toothpicks. Before long, the skin at each scratch became red and swollen. Rosen shook her head and remarked, You're hypersensitive to everything.